The moon has a powerful influence on many animals, guiding their behaviors and activities through its phases and the tidal patterns it controls. 1. Loggerhead Sea Turtle Females time their nesting on sandy beaches to align with specific moon phases, often laying eggs during the new or full moon. The darkness provided by a new moon helps conceal nesting turtles from predators, while the higher tides associated with both new and full moons allow them to access safer, upper beach areas for laying eggs. The hatchlings also emerge during these moon phases, providing them with better conditions to reach the sea quickly and avoid predators. 2. Wolf, they are known to adjust their hunting and howling behaviors based on the lunar cycle. During full moons, wolves may hunt less frequently as prey animals, like deer and rabbits, can see better and become more cautious. However, wolves use the brightness of the moon to enhance social activities such as howling, which helps coordinate pack movements, mark territory, and strengthen social bonds. The lunar cycle can also influence their reproductive behaviors as wolves may time mating or birthing events with the moon phases to take advantage of the lunar light. 3. Eurasian Woodcock This bird species adjusts its migration and breeding activities according to the lunar phases. During full moons, male Eurasian Woodcocks perform roading flights, a courtship display where they fly in circles, making distinctive calls to attract females. The bright moonlight provides better visibility for these displays and helps them avoid predators. Additionally, they tend to migrate during full moons to use the natural light for navigation and safety. 4. Fiddler Crab Commonly found in mangroves and salt marshes, they adjust their foraging and mating activities to the lunar cycle, becoming most active during full and new moons when tides are highest. The higher water levels allow them to move further from their burrows to forage for food, and find mates while reducing the risk of predation. Males also use this time to attract females by waving their enlarged claws, which is most effective under the moonlight. 5. Surgeonfish and Rabbitfish On the Great Barrier Reef, these fish species synchronize their reproductive activities with the full moon. They release eggs and sperm in large quantities during this period, aligning with tidal patterns that help disperse the fertilized eggs widely across the reef. The synchronization reduces predation risk by overwhelming predators with the sheer volume of eggs and larvae, ensuring that more offspring survive. 6. Wildebeest During their migration across the Serengeti and Maasai Mara, wildebeest adjust their movements based on the lunar cycle. They often travel more during the full moon, when increased visibility helps them avoid nocturnal predators like lions and hyenas. The moonlight allows them to see obstacles and dangers at night, which can help them find water sources and graze safely in unfamiliar areas. 7. Coral. The ones on the Great Barrier Reef synchronize their spawning with the lunar cycles, particularly during full moons. This mass spawning event involves thousands of coral colonies releasing eggs and sperm into the water simultaneously, creating a colorful underwater spectacle. The timing is crucial as the full moon's light and tidal patterns enhance the chances of successful fertilization by keeping eggs and sperm suspended in the water column, away from predators and currents that could wash them away. 8. Plankton. Many species, such as zooplankton, exhibit lunar-related vertical migrations in the ocean. During full moons, they stay deeper in the water to avoid predators that rely on sight, such as fish. As the moon wanes and the nights become darker, plankton migrate closer to the surface to feed on phytoplankton, maximizing their feeding opportunities while minimizing the risk of predation.